Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, this is going to be a very late, but hopefully cutting it in the deadline contest video from a great guy, Scott X1307. Um, he's got a one year on YouTube and over 200 sub contests going on right now. And uh, I remember when Scott when Scott first started on the on the site on YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, in the community. And there's some people that, in the community that you kind of, um, for myself anyways, kind of. Uh, latch onto their videos, and as many I try to watch as many as videos I can. It's impossible to watch them all, but I do try to watch almost every one of Scott's videos, especially his uh, his flea market haul videos. And he gets all his books for you know a quarter or twenty cents a piece, and he finds some great shit. Uh, but he's got some seven questions, uh, so we'll run through these really quick. Uh, let's see. First question is oldest book. I don't have too many old ones. Um, I don't really don't have any golden age stuff like that, but uh, probably my oldest book is uh, just from like the 60s. Uh, this is the only one I can think of was from 1960. It's an issue of from Dow of Rawhide with the Clint Eastwood on the cover. I got this in a, in a box of comics for pretty much for free, so that was pretty cool. Someday maybe I'll get some some golden age Captain America someday. Hopefully. Second question: uh, Most prized possessions outside of comics. I believe this kind of was a, a question on uh, on Fool Killer's video a while back. Um, I have a few things, and I, th I might add one also. But uh, some of the most prized possessions is yeah, may not be a great feat for a lot of people, but for me or my family, uh, I'm the only one in my family who graduates graduates from college. Um, even though it's only a community college, I do have my college diploma. It's just an associate's degree in mechanical te technology, but um, I actually graduated college uh, at 37. <laughs> uh, like most people, I didn't go right out of high school. I joined the Army out of high school, um, out of the Army, right into the workforce. Uh, I did construction most of my adult life, um, doing some commercial roofing for, you know, God, nine years. Um, had a had a back injury, which afforded me opportunity to go back to school. So at 37 years old, I graduated college. Um, another one of my prized possessions are my dog tags. Uh, I spent five years in the military, uh, United States Army. So a lot of great memories were in these. <laughs> so yeah, definitely a prized possession. Another one, probably my most, and I've showed this before, is this little eagle plaque. Uh, I can remember my mother painting this. I was probably four or five years old. Um, she she didn't draw it, but she kind of just filled it in with the different colors. And she passed away by about eight years ago, and so I got this actually tattooed on my chest in her memory. So that's definitely my prized possession. And then the thing is, after I got the tattoo, I actually left this at the tattoo shop at the parlor. So I had to drive all the way back, like another 45 minutes back to where I... So, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely love that. Um, third question, Dream Vacation. Uh, it's a, actually a place that I actually had been before that I would love to go back to someday. Uh, that's one thing about, about being in the Army. We got, you know, we got deployments all over. And being stationed in Hawaii, we had a lot of Pacific deployments. Uh, I've been to Thailand a couple of twice. Um, I've said before, I've been to the Marshall Islands. And probably one of the best places I've ever been to was Fiji. This is uh, from 94. I actually had a couple pictures. Uh, we stayed in a little, just a little tiny little island. Well, they're all little tiny islands. But uh, the village we stayed in only had one phone. Um, there was like maybe like two cars in the whole village so uh and one day we just me and my buddies we just started walking we started walking the beach to see what we can come up with we heard there was like another village a little while a little ways away so i figured let's try to get there um it was not easy <laughs> but uh we scaled some rocks and some cliffs we finally got to this actually wasn't a village but it was a, a dive resort owned by a couple Austra an australian couple uh which is were great so uh this is actually a picture taken from uh, the deck. I don't know if you can see it very well, but this is the deck of the view from the into the ocean. There's me right, right there. That guy right there, the backpack. That's me. Yep, 
so yeah, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we actually went there a couple different times. So that's the second time we went to a boat. <laughs> and then uh, where our village was, this is a, a view from the top of the hill that we hiked up. Our village is way down over here somewhere. So yeah, that was pretty quite the hike. But yeah, that's where I would love to go. I'd love to go back to Fiji. Uh, it's simple living. So, great, great time. We were there like 52 days. And I would say it was a 52-day party. Um, dream car. I mean, of course, everybody wants the split window, you know, Corvette Stingray like Scott wanted. I'm gonna, I've am i always thought practical. If I'm going to dream for a car, I want to get something that I'm actually going to be able to afford. And one car I've always wanted, well, not like a car, but it's more like a Jeep. I've always wanted like an 82 Jeep Wagoneer. The wood panel on the, well, the fake wood panel on the sides. Um, actually, when I was trying for, for me to buy my first car, it's the thing I was looking for, and I could never find one, you know, within my area. So, uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I want. But it's got to be mint, though. I don't want no piece of crap. So, yes, an 82 Jeep Wagoneer. If I could live anywhere, um, somewhere, somewhere, first guy have a hockey team. Um, it's got to be able to play golf at least eight months out of the year. Uh, very low humidity. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got to have at least at least two or three comic book shops in the neighborhood. Um, so as soon as I can find that place, that's where I want to live. Uh, number six, my weirdest comic buying experience. Uh, it was probably a few years ago. I saw the ad on Craigslist. The guy had a bunch of books listed and um, the only thing I really wanted he had some some copies of uh, Tales of Suspense uh, so he lived the other side of Buffalo I lived this side of Buffalo he said well we'll kind of meet in the middle and we met at one of the local malls it was just like a drug deal <laughs> Late at, it, was, it was probably in the evening it was dark um, he's parked in the parking lot you know I pull up next to him you know he ha I hand him some money he hands me a bag so that's kind of weird, but uh, weird for me anyways. I don't really, you know, unless you're, you know, buy drugs, you know, what it's all about. But anyways, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was kind of was kind of odd. Um. So uh, next question, last question, my top three buys of the year. Uh, not really crazy. Uh, not really crazy keys or anything. Just maybe top for me, maybe not top for everybody. Um, but top three. I'm going to go with a new book. Uh, it's a series I finally, finally, finally put this on my pull list. Um, I love the series. Love the art. Love the story. That's Mercenary Sea by Image. I don't think I see anybody showing this book on any videos that I watch. So definitely, definitely recommend it. Love that book. Um, then some books I just picked up recently. Uh, always wanted this for the cover. And then once I finish one series, I think I'm going to kind of focus on... Um, some books with this character in it. This is number 12 of Iron Fist. Captain America on the cover. I think once I finish my cap run, I'm going to focus on some of these. Some of those are Daredevil issue. I can't, I can't remember the issue offhand. There's a Daredevil issue with him on the cover and him in the story, which I like. And then it's the last one I bought. Um, this makes me down to seven issues of cap that I need. It's Captain America 103. I found this really cool store that uh, has, I think, every issue that I need. Um, this was originally marked 14 bucks. Everything's half off, so I got it for $7. Um, obviously, not in perfect condition, but uh, still needed it. Love it. So, that's all those questions. Uh, I just said this is a quick video. Hope, hopefully, this makes it in time. i got to get it uploaded right now and get it in. But, uh, Scott, um, we are comment, always comment back and forth. He's a great guy. Please check him out. If you haven't checked him out, please do. I um, guarantee you love his haul videos. Uh, he's definitely a hard-working guy. He's always, he's always working. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, check him out for yourself. If you don't believe me, check him out. Please do. And uh, uh, again, congrats, Scott. Congratulations on your subs. One year on YouTube. I think you passed me in subs, <laughs> which is awesome. I, you know, I think it's great. So uh, congratulations again. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.